Hello world, this is Chris with Elevations doing an exciting unboxing today. So today we have the Galaxy S23 Ultra and this is the 512 version. So they Samsung put out the 256, the 512 and the one terabyte version. This does not have, however, the extendable SD card like you have seen in previous Samsung phones. So I decided to go with the 512. The one terabyte is certainly a lot. I didn't want to go too cheap and go with the 256, so I figured I'd hit in the middle at the 512 version. It was only a little bit more for that extra storage. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Again, this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. We're going to start just by opening up the little sticker tabs they have right here. See what this looks like coming straight out of the box. There she is, that's a pretty large phone. And again, this is the Ultra, so it's definitely got some size to it. Taking this out here, so this was just sitting on top. It definitely gives it a little bit of padding. See what kind of stuff is in here. Okay. We do have the card extractor. AT&T quick start information. Information about the 5G SIM. Then I'm just holding some of the stuff off the side to make sure we don't have too much information on YouTube. So this is a USB-C to USB-C cable here. And then it does have off the side, and I'm just not gonna show that, this is the actual SIM card for the phone itself. Now, the one thing I will say is it does not appear to actually come with a wall wart, which I'm a little disappointed by. This is the extraction pin for what used to be the tray that would hold the SIM card and the SD card. So this time, it would be the SIM card only. Okay, that looks to be everything in this box. Go ahead and set that off the side. So we have a little tab right here. Pop this guy open. There's the phone itself. It does have some pretty good weight to it. Let's see, please remove before you power on your new phone. All right, so let's go ahead and remove that. Here's your new screen. Oh, that is a beautiful system. Definitely got some good weight to it. It's a lot more than I really expected, honestly. Um, I have a Note 9 and an S9. And I say this is certainly heavier than the previous ones. As you can see here, let's really look at that. So these lenses really extrude off of the back of this phone. So that's something to be careful about. You don't want to use this, I would say, without a case, without a lens protector. You just set that right down. It's sitting directly on those lenses. So that's something to be really careful about. Beautiful phone, as you can tell, just by touching it, I already have a lot of fingerprints on it. Let's see, so obviously, like I said, setting that down gently with those lenses there, it does not have, there's nothing in the bottom, does not have any wall wart. It does have a little bit of stickiness right here from what was sitting on top of it to help things stay in place. Let's take a look on the exterior. So I have my stylus pen right here. Now, in the previous, let's see, the S, or the Note 9, the stylus was over in this corner. Then we have our USB-C. A door that I don't have a hole off of, so let's see what goes in there. I imagine power. No buttons along this side. So then everything here is power, volume. No buttons here like you see with some of the previous notes. So everything is off the bottom. And this one right side, nothing up up top. See, I don't quite see what's there. I don't really want to pry off it until I know what's there. Let's go ahead and just pop open this little tray. See what we have here. This should be the SIM card reader right here. And that's it, no SD card. And there we are. This is the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the 512 version. Looking forward to getting this activated, getting things going, and see what kind of great contact I can produce with this new phone. My name is Chris with Elevations. As always, I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching.